Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Electronics Virtual Lab. Today uh, we will discuss the uh, working and the simulation part of 4 bit serial in parallel out shift registers. Okay, so basically registers are used to store the bits and shift is basically used to shift the bits from one flip flop to the another flip flop with the help of clocks. That's why they are called shift registers. Okay, so there are four types of shift registers that is serial in, serial out, serial in, parallel out, parallel in, parallel out and parallel in, serial out. So here we are discussing serial in, parallel out shift register. Okay, in our theory portion we have already covered all these four uh, shift registers. Okay, so now just a brief introduction as we have already covered in our theory class but here I am uh, discussing it once more in a very brief way okay so this is basically the n bit shift register because n number of flip flops are are using okay so this one is this is flip flop one this is flip flop two and up to n flip flop so here in the first flip flop in the first flip flop we are applying our data in the form of serial so serially we are applying serial in so one by one so serially we are applying but we are getting or we are extracting output from each flip flops okay so q1 q2 qn q3 these are these all are outputs and we are fetching all these outputs simultaneously so that's why it is called parallel out so so the working of or you can say the basic idea of serial in parallel out is that we are applying our uh, input we are applying our input serially and parallelly we are fetching our outputs okay from each or you can say from individual flip flop okay now so the output of q1 is basically the input of d2 and the output of q2 is basically the input of input of d3 okay so the output of q n minus 1 is the input of d n clear and in d1 we are applying our input okay so whenever we apply a clock all the bits from one flip flop will be shipped to the next flip flop okay if we apply d data in as 1 so whenever we apply a clock the d1 uh, that output uh, or you can say the uh, in the case of D flip flop, the output follows the input. Okay, so the value of Q n plus one, the characteristic equation of D flip flop says that Q n plus one is equal to D. So output Q one is uh, will be equal to the value uh, that will be entered in D one. Okay, then again the value of Q two will depend on the value of D two. Okay, so in the next in the next pulse. The output of Q1 that will be shifted to D2 that will occur at Q2. Okay, so you can understand this with the help of this table. So at each clock, the data is basically transferring from one flip flop to the another flip flop. Okay, so first of all, we our data in is B1. So at first clock, it will be reflected at Q1 that is B1. At next clock, it will be reflected at Q2. In the next clock, it will be reflected at Q3. So, the, uh, so in such a way, we can say that our data is basically transferring from one flip flop to another flip flop. Okay. So, in the timing diagram, so in the timing diagram, diagram you can you can see that that each clock pulse at each clock pulse that we can say the positive A is clock pulse, the data B1 is shifting. Okay. B, B1, then B2, B3, B4, this, all these informations, all these bits information is basically shifting to the right. So we can say that there are two types of shifting, right shifting, you can say, you can see here, right shifting and second one is left shifting, okay. So this is basically left shifting. Just we have to change the position of our data input. Here we will apply data input from this side. So we will achieve our all outputs in, in this direction and the bits will be shifted in the left side. Okay, left shifting. So this is the working or you can say the 
uh, operation of a four bit serial in parallel out register shift register okay why we are saying it uh, uh, i am saying it four bit because we are using uh, we are using we will use four uh, flip flops in the simulation part okay so just click on the simulation this is basically the circuit of shift register we are using 7474 ic that basically belongs to the uh, d flip flop okay so this is all the connection diagram that is already available to us we just have to have to simulate that bits are basically shifting or not okay so in the in the truth table uh, we can just verify it okay so first of all read all the instructions that are available on the left hand side so connect battery to supply fiber to the circuit keep the reset preset as active high signal so there are two more pins in each flip flop that is preset and reset okay so reset means your circuit will be reset to zero preset means if you are interested to put a particular value in the initial phase then you will apply a particular signal at preset uh, level as here you can see that preset is a negative triggered signal so we have to apply one if we are not interested to preset this particular flip flop if we apply zero to this preset then it will be complemented at this pin and it will be, be it will behave as one zero complement is one and it will preset the values of this uh, particular flip flop okay now so the rest instructions are okay the button high uh, in high state for high state green color for low state red color the switch is in on state it is represented by this green color it is in off state represented by the red color okay so this is the off state of the led this is the on state of the led so we have to apply or you can say after applying this uh, this battery after applying this battery we have to apply data at the input so we uh, so i am applying one i am applying one so first of all set the value of reset and preset as one high okay because we are not using uh, reset and preset in this uh, circuit so we will put it as one okay now apply data so first i have applied one for single clock so just click on clock this is your data that is uploaded on q3 so rest q2 q1 q0 are zero now switch off this data and then click on clock so you will see that this red light will be shifted to the right hand side like this okay so now your data is shifted from q3 to q1 now it is shifted q2 to q1 now it is shifted from q1 to q0 okay so very simple you can just uh, click or you can add all these values to this table also okay so i have already applied eight clocks earlier now add okay so 10 11 one more click then 12 one more click then add okay now i have not changed my input so let's now i have changed my input so this is red add now q3 is 1 q2 is 0 0 0 now switch off this input then apply clock then add now your data is shifted from q3 to q2 then again one more clock then add now it is shifted from q2 to q1 then one more clock and then add so this is 0, 0, 0, 0001 so your data is right shifted from q3 to q0 so 1111 so this is basically the shifting and the four bits are basically used to store the data so that's why it is called shift register 
okay so today i have completed all the practicals of this digital electronics lab designed by iit rudki a lot of thanks to the initiative of mhrd uh, especially for the iit rudki for designing a wonderful and wonderful platform to simulate digital circuits in a very simple manner it is very user friendly you just have to apply values and you can check okay you can check the working of each and every circuit of digital design that are available on this platform okay so you can learn you can copy uh, you can store you can record all these data okay you can learn the circuit diagram how to connect all these uh, flip flops with each other how to apply inputs how to check data all these things you can simply learn with the help of this virtual lab platform so it is my request to all of you that after watching all these uh, videos of this particular digital design playlist you please try all these practicals by yourself okay if you are not uh, using your physical labs due to covid uh, so it is a very good time because in your interviews whenever you will apply for your placements a uh, digital design subject is is very important um, a lot, lot of questions in theory or you can say in interview uh, by the by the company persons will be asked related to all these combination circuits sequential circuits so uh, so you have to answer okay if you want a good placement so you have to answer and for that you have to prepare yourself so with the help of this platform with the help of these videos uh, you can uh, learn a lot related to your digital design labs okay so thanks for watching the complete playlist of uh, digital design thank you